Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Chris Time, and today we're going to be taking a look at some products that I got from Timu. Let's go! Today's sponsor is from Vinyl Frog. They went ahead and sent me a clear PPF film for my Type R. This whole entire front of the car is prone to scratches, especially if you do a lot of highway driving. So I cleaned the car and then I clay barred it to get rid of any of the contaminants that are on the paint so that the PPF can stick properly. We then went ahead and installed the PPF onto the car, which is a wet installation and it was a fairly easy install. So this is actually the after. Um, now the car is a little bit dirty because it did rain uh, like the next day that we installed the PPF film. But like you can see, especially on the hood, we, we messed up big time on the hood, but there's a couple of bubbles. Uh, again, we're not professionals, um, but it's not even that noticeable. Um, but yeah, we covered this, this, this whole front uh, we even covered. We didn't get a chance to cover any of this because we didn't have enough uh, film. We have pretty much the most important part of the car, which is the front, uh, protected with PPF. Uh, especially these headlights because our headlights are prone to scratching and this piano black grill that we have uh, So yeah, it feels really soft. Ooh, that's hot from the sun and the engine But yeah, it feels really hot and then it adds like an extra layer of protection and like you guys can see How much of a crappy job we did overall? I'm really satisfied because I know that the front of the car is now protected with this PPF. They also sell like different colored wraps. So if you want like a uh, like a cool color wrap, uh, they also uh, sell that on their website. Um, and this was fairly easy to install. Um, so if you want to go check that out, I'm going to be linking them down below in the description. I highly recommend you guys to get your car PPF, uh, especially because Honda puts on this really low quality paint. It looks good the color wise, but like the quality is complete crap. Uh, it scratches easily and it fades uh, within a couple of years, if, if, even if you're taking care of your vehicle. Uh, because I've heard stories, not even a year uh, of ownership, people's paint have been peeling off, uh, which tells you how crap uh, Honda paint is. Again, I'm gonna be linking Vinyl Frog's link down in the description, so check out their website. Um, but yeah, the car looks really good. This is how it came, like no boxes or anything. Um, but yeah, we have Timu's logo right here, and like if I, it feels pretty loose. Um, now I forgot what exactly I bought uh, that's inside this package, but we're gonna go ahead and unbox this. There is absolutely no protection, so if the person delivering this decides to drop this, um, then your products will probably be damaged. How is this? So apparently this cleans this off right here. So if you're washing your car and you have some stuff lying around right here in this crack, uh, then this is the tool for you. Um, it's not the best tool, to be honest. So I would rate this a three out of 10. These bristles right here, super flimsy and like, I feel like they're gonna come off easily and look how easily they bend. And like I said, not the best product in the world, but three out of 10. So that was making all the noise. This is great. Uh, especially if you're planning on washing your car and you don't have like a pressure washer uh, for to get that foamy um, soap. So this will solve all your problems. Um, and it's really cool, it works well. Um, and it's really neat. So all you need uh, to do is just basically just pour your soapy water solution in here, pump away and squeeze the trigger to get that foam cannon like effect without having a pressure washer. And yeah, this is a great find on Timu. This is pretty legit. And look at that. Here's our vacuum cleaner. It's really small and it's actually packaged uh, inside this box. Um, let's just rip it right out. Oh my God, it's so tiny. 
Does this thing have, what? It's so girly, it has glitters. It does say, please charge battery full before use. Um, so I'm gonna do that before we actually um, use this thing. The quality already off the bat, uh, I'd give it a three out of 10. Uh, it does feel really cheap. Oh, and then here's like a little extender uh, thingy. So looks like this. It also includes an instruction manual. Apparently you have to be 14 years old uh, and up to use this, but I'm guessing this is Chinese and this is in English. Robotic vacuum cleaner. Charging time is apparently is four to six hours. Why is that so long? Working hours is only 60 minutes. Please make sure the switch is off before charging. Replace different nozzles according to different occasions, but there's only one nozzle. The effect will be better if suction nozzle is flat on the ground in use. Okay then. Do not dismantle, repair, or modify the product unless professionals. Do not cover the air inlet or outlet while it working. Otherwise, the product may be deformed or fired due to overheating. Do not inhale combustibles such as burning cigarette butts when using this product. It cannot be used while charging. And then here's a bunch of Chinese stuff. All right, so vacuum is fully charged and uh, we're gonna test it out. So here's a couple of grass clippings that I found in my garage floor. Uh, so let's see how powerful this is. So there's barely any suction uh, on this vacuum, but it is portable and uh, the battery apparently lasts 60 minutes. It works, um, but it's only for like the small stuff. If it's stuff that's like stuck on your carpet, then it's probably not gonna work. But like for loose things, like these ones right here, it works. Um, I guess I'd rate it a three out of five. This is called a Yin Hei Hong R. Type R keychain, so it feels pretty cheap. I feel like I can break this. Uh, I can just like snap it in half if I wanted to, but uh, looks wise, it looks pretty good. Um, the R, I believe, is the same font as the one that we have on the car. Uh, the color's off a little bit, but I mean, yeah, it looks pretty solid. For now, I'm just gonna leave it right here along with the mini car model that I have of my Type R. So our next product is this windshield wiper thingy. So this is the interior windshield wiper um, because you guys might know how much of a pain this is to wipe with just your hands. So this is what it looks like all connected with the microfiber on it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I actually have some windshield anti-fog uh, from shine armor this is i got this like a while back ago it's been about a year and a half since i last applied this because i'm just gonna spray this onto the rag and i'm basically just gonna wipe this like that oh this is this is 10 times easier look at that this is awesome i love this so this product i would rate 10 out of 10 highly recommend This is called a vehicle rear view mirror telescopic wiper. I've seen a bunch of videos of this on TikTok and I finally bought one. Um, now this is what the box looks like. Again, it's all crushed uh, because it came directly from China and like the packaging on this, I mean, they didn't take care of it because it was in that bag right there, but it's fine. I mean, at least the product wasn't damaged. So this basically wipes your side mirrors. Um, if you don't have heated mirrors, then this is the tool for you. If it's foggy or if it's raining out or even snowing out. Uh, so this is a very useful product to use. There's some numbers on the squeegee. Um, is that like a ruler or something? I don't know what that is, but there's like a bunch of numbers and of course the heart shape. 
and this is what the handle looks like it's nice rubber grip it does feel cheap um, like you can definitely feel it and it's not aluminum or anything it's basically just plastic Let's see if I can splash this on there you go that's better okay oh no my side mirrors is wet whatever shall I do this is the driver's side I mean it glides pretty nice now the real question is passenger side so all you have to do is just extend it out just like that reach over to the passenger side and you're gonna want to wipe this like so oh look at that it does work so this is very useful <laughs> especially if you have foggy side mirrors but yeah guys this I mean for what it's worth it does the job um, I like it I think it's pretty neat um, or as you know as others would say it, it's pretty cute I don't know I like it it's a nice tool to have and it's pretty cute I uh, 7 out of 10 next up we have this box right here I believe this is the trash can look at the packaging on this guys Look how beat up that looks. Something's rattling in there. Feels pretty cheap. Push to throw away your stuff. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Little trash can. Push. Then there's like a little clip here. Um, so I guess this attaches on the back. There you go. So there you go. Just clips into your car so that you can have a trash can. All right, so the problem with this is I don't know where to clip it. Unless it goes down here on the side, which I'm gonna try doing. Cool. There you go. Now, I guess that works. Close the door, see if it hits my leg. Um, unfortunately, I mean, it does fit a water bottle. You'd have to crush it up and then just dump it in there. Um, but yeah, um, candy wrappers, all sorts of bags will fit. And it's kind of in my way. Um, if I was a passenger and I'm sitting over here, it is kind of in my way unless we could slide this a little bit, uh, which I'm going to do. Let's see if I can slide it right here. Yeah, I guess it works like that. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, it works like that. There you go. Now it's not in the way. And she has her little trash can here. Um, rated a 5 out of 10, uh, only because it feels kind of flimsy, and, like, this opens up easily, but it's functional, uh, like I said, 5 out of 10, I don't know how long that'll last, and, um, how strong that clip is there, um, so if I'm going in and out of the car, uh, the, that could potentially break. Next up is a battery tester, so comes in a package like this it has instructions so this is what it looks like it feels really cheap uh, made out of a uh, very cheap plastic and it looks like they just stuck like a sticker here but it's not um, it's really lightweight and we have these little LED indicators right here so this is basically just a battery tester uh, it tells you the status of your battery if it's you know a faulty battery or if it's a good battery it also tells you how much charge you have uh, on your battery hopefully my car doesn't blow up okay here we go testing out three two one whoops it didn't even connect okay here we go whoops it's middle but it's flashing full for some reason i don't know what that means but I guess this is like in between middle and full. But yeah, I mean, 
it works, I guess. So is this a good product? Um, I'm gonna say, yeah, I mean, it works, so. Another product on Timu that I found was this little headlamp thing. It's LED, uh, basically an LED light strip that you attach to your head. So while you're working on your car, you can just wear this uh, basically like a headband and everything that you look at is lit. And apparently it has wave induction. So I don't know what they mean by that, but I don't know, we'll try it. This is what it looks like. Um, I think this is in the center, who knows. But yeah guys, so we have the power button right here on the side. And apparently you just wave your hand. Or what about this other button? So I press the other button. Oh, <laughs> would you look at that? All right, so there you go. So you can turn it on and off by just simply waving your hand like this. That's awesome. This is this is pretty neat. And then, yeah, turn off that feature to have like a regular side lamp. Oh, that I just turned it off. That's just the regular. I dimmed it. Here's my little side light right here. Dim that, and then turn the wavy hand thingy on. There you go. It actually works. <laughs> I'm surprised. And the light is pretty, um, the light's pretty bright. The light's pretty decent. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, I'm just doing the little spotlight thingy. But if I were to turn on the actual strip, this is what it looks like. So every time, I'm working on the car. Anywhere and everywhere that I look, that spot will be lit, which is pretty good. Anyways, that about wraps up this video. If you do like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below what you guys think of this video, or if you have any future suggestions on what kind of videos that I should be making on the channel, be sure to comment down below. Uh, anyways, thank you all for watching. This is Chris time and peace out.